corn is currently in season and it's at its best. I'm going to show you how to make this corn soup with pigtail and dumplings. Now soup is one of those dishes, every time I make it, it looks a little bit different. I'm using salted pigtails for this recipe. So the first thing you need to do is to remove the excess salt. And I'm going to do so by placing the pigtails in a pot of water, bringing it to a boil and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I am going to strain the pigtail to discard the water. This is going to draw out some of that saltiness that you definitely do not want in the soup. I'm going to then place the pigtails back into the pot with fresh water, return it to the stove and repeat this process once more. This should be enough to remove any excess salt. Next, I'm going to get started on the vegetables and I am using a lot of corn because I absolutely love corn. I'm actually using four ears of corn. Now, the first time I had a corn soup was outside of a club called Caribbean City back in like 2002. And there was a Trinidadian vendor who sold it and it had cow heel in the soup and it was so, so good. Coming out of the club at four in the morning and having that warm soup in the middle of winter, it was the best. Corn soup is easily my favorite soup. There's something about that combination of the sweet corn and then the split peas in the broth that just gives it so much flavor. Um, I am making it with pigtails. You can make it meatless. You can use cow heel. You can even use a piece of smoked meat. To me, soups are one of those dishes that it's kind of whatever you have on hand. So it's always changing. I'm cutting up all the seasoning that I'm going to need to flavor this soup. I am now dicing an onion. I've cut up a scallion. I'm also going to add thyme and a weary pepper for that nice peppery flavor. If you don't have the weary pepper, you can use a scotch bonnet or any pepper that has some sort of heat to it. Next, I'm going to add a couple cloves of garlic and I must confess, I absolutely hate peeling garlic. There's just something about it and for some reason the skin sticks to your fingers and I just really, it's one of my least favorite tasks in the kitchen. And I am just going to chop it up. I remembered that I had this slap chop that I wanted to share with you guys and this thing, yes, it's been all over the internet and I'm telling you, it is amazing. I chop my onions, my garlic, my ginger, and within just a few seconds, this is what you get. It would take much longer if I were to use a knife. The next thing I'm gonna do is add split peas to the pot. I'm gonna add the garlic that I just chopped up along with diced onion, thyme, and I'm adding that weary pepper. I am removing the seeds because I have children and they don't necessarily like it too spicy. I'm adding the pigtails and I'm also gonna add quite a bit of water because this is going to cook for a while. This needs to cook until the split peas has softened. I'm also going to add a bay leaf and then I am going to bring this to a boil and allow it to cook. This took about 35 to 40 minutes for the split peas to soften. And I'm going to whisk it just to break up the split peas and it is going to incorporate into the broth and make it nice and thick. Now I'm going to add chicken bouillon and the corn. And I'm also going to add boiling water because the soup needs more liquid and I didn't want to add cold water to bring down the temperature. I'm also going to add scallion and you also want to season it to taste. Add some black pepper, add some salt at this point. And you guys, I almost forgot a very important ingredient and that is coconut cream. Now you can either use the coconut cream like I use or you can use coconut milk. I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook for about 15 minutes or so while I make the dumplings. To a bowl, I've added flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, and a little bit of margarine. And I'm just working the margarine into the flour using a fork. Next, I'm going to add water and mix it together. Now, dumplings is another one of those things that I make differently 
every time. Sometimes I want a dense dumpling. Sometimes I make it light and fluffy. Sometimes I make duff. So it definitely depends on my mood. This one is not so dense, but it's just not quite as fluffy as duff. And I'm adding a little water as I go, just until it reaches the desired consistency. If you're interested in making this recipe, I will have it linked below in the description box. It's going to lead you over to my blog, giancancook.com. And I share a ton of recipes just like this. So be sure to head on over and just have a look around. You can also follow me over on Instagram at giancancook just to get a little peep into my day-to-day -day life. And I'm just kneading the dough just until it comes together and it's going to be a little sticky. That's fine. Once the soup is done, it's time to add the dumplings and I'm adding a little bit more salt because I felt as though it needed it. And I am just tearing off pieces of the dough and dropping it into the soup. Once you place the dumpling into the soup, you need to cover it. Do not peek, cover it and allow it to cook for at least 10 minutes. And you're gonna know that the dumpling is done because it's gonna be floating on top of the soup. And this is pretty much done. I felt as though it needed a little bit more liquid, so I added some hot water. Now keep in mind that split peas does thicken as it cools. And I'm just gonna finish it off with fresh scallion and it's time to serve. You guys, this is a big old pot of love. You have the split peas, coconut broth, those dumplings, the corn, the pigtail. It is just the perfect marriage. Thank you guys for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.